Hi. Okay, so this is another piece that I wrote, and it's called Thief. If I wore baggy clothing, who would I look like? Just another girl swimming in her clothes, but him, my brothers and sisters, is not. There are so many other fish in the sea that portray the society-stricken image that immediately halts them from making their voyage to Atlantis. Instead, they are trapped in the abyss, deeply rooted by hate and inequality, stumped by instability, trumped by poverty. It's as if the king is constantly playing whack-a-mole, prohibiting anyone that looks like the spectrum of the rainbow. He is what we call unwanted. Actually, that's society's way of grouping those different that due to their difference is bad that their body instantly renders a notion of violence, that the color of their skin indicates how dangerous one is. No, the mass cries in unity. For as long as I have been living, so far, that is 21 years, 21 years of make-believe, because if this is what we call a post-racial society, we might as well call private institutions public because I'm paying the same, if not more, for my education. The ramifications of increasing tuition is rejecting the less fortunate. Many of those who come from poverty-stricken neighborhoods can be just as intelligent, just as talented, just as motivated. By the way our society works, the color of our skin acts like a map, that every wrinkle, every feature that delineates anything pertaining to my identity that they know me, that they know us, but they are wrong. My color, my shape, my language is not a song that you can repeat and repeat over and over again. Think that you know my culture and the struggles of my people, that the people that surround us, me, determine what we are. No, the mass cries in unity. Our history textbooks are vague. It's like a plague that continues to seep through our brains, feeding us this jargon we call history. Ever since kindergarten, for some pre-K, we were taught the ins and outs of our country, but not once were our cultures and identities brought to light that there were fights and our rights were tossed to the wayside. I mean, whose side? Our side, except none of this was even considered. Sitting in our desks learning about the American Revolution, we remained silent, not even wondering where we resided in this story. Not one questioned the placement of our people. Upon graduation, you are equipped with the knowledge and skills, they said. They said continue, but the moment you enter this institution, you are challenged and given information that was never discussed. When you thought you knew everything, you learned it was much more than that. That our great, 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 great grandparents immigrated to this land of opportunity, they said, in the hopes that they will have a better future, they said. Instead, torture, pain, and anguish, emotions begin to unravel, and I find out that what was taught to us was the voice of one group. To my understanding, they who voice their stories are the strongest and yet vulnerable but relatable. The pen is mightier than the sword, and while their weapons may trump ours, no thief can take away what you say. Thank you.